Over the whole of the uh, filming technology has uh, changed beyond recognition. Um, in, in those days, um, um, we used film, uh, and television mostly used 35mm film, which is a very big uh, gauge and which is used for cinemas. Uh, and um, I said to um, the BBC, look, when I was a producer there, I said, I can't carry these enormous great 35mm cameras, nor can I carry all the film. It's got to do on 16mm. And the BBC said, you can't use that, that's amateur stuff and it'll be fussy and out of focus and so on. Um, but um, eventually I persuaded them. And it was the first time the BBC used 16mm film, which then became standard. Um, and, uh, uh, but the problem, there were problems about the um, sensitivity of the film. And in effect, we couldn't actually film in the rainforest when we got there, we discovered it was simply too dark. The uh, film was not sensitive enough. And so we had great problems about doing that. It's not like filming elephants out on the, on the big savannas of East Africa. Uh, we were in dark rainforests and, and the film wasn't adequate. Um, but um, the um, pattern of the program was that we would take film sequence and then of, of Jack Lester catching an animal um, and then uh, for the close-ups of the animal, which we couldn't get in the forest because it was too dark, we would bring them back to the studio and show them live in the studio. And that's what the programme consisted of. A sequence of showing one of us, Jack, to start with, catching something. Then we went live to a studio and then uh, Jack explained what the animal was and showed it and then introduced the next one and we'd go back into a sequence, film sequence. And that's how it was structured the programme.